39, Smooth is the debut studio album by American rock band Green Day, released on April 13, 1990 by Lookout Records. It was the band's only album to feature original drummer John Kiffmeyer. Jesse Michaels of Operation Ivy contributed the artwork on the album. The inner sleeve shows handwritten lyrics by Billy Joe Armstrong and letters by drummer John Kiffmeyer and Lookout owner Larry Livermore to IRS. Records, rejecting a fake offer to sign to the label and declaring its loyalty to Lookout however, the band would later leave the label and move to Reprise Records. Although it is currently out of print, 39, Smooth was later re-released, along with the band's two previous extended plays Slappy and 1000 Hours, and the song, I Want to Be Alone. From the Big One, a compilation album released by Flipside Records in 1990 on the 1991 compilation 1039, smoothed out Slappy Hours, which also used the same cover sleeve as 39, Smooth. Release 39, Smooth was released in 1990 and the first few releases were black vinyl. It was later released in green vinyl and only around 800 exist in green. The old pressings of the LP have the old Lookout Leightonville address on the back. Following a move from Leightonville to Berkeley in 1992, a change was made to the address listed on the jacket. The album was only modestly successful when initially released, selling just short of 3,000 copies for Lookout Records in its first year. While an insignificant sales count for a major label, this represented a healthy and profitable tally for the fledgling underground label. In the spring of 1994, following the release of Dookie, Green Day's first major label offering, Lookout's sales of the title reached the 55,000 mark. A CD version of the album has not been made, but the LP's contents were later featured on the compilation album 1039, Smoothed Out Slappy Hours, which was released in 1991. The compilation was re-released in a remastered form in 2004. It was re-released on CD on January 9, 2007, by Reprise Records. The label Green Day has been signed to since leaving Lookout. Note that in Europe, the album was already re-released by Epitaph Europe and has remained in print. It was reissued on vinyl on March 24, 2009, by Reprise in a package containing the original 10 song 39, Smooth LP along with reissues of the 1000 Hours and Slappy Eps. No official singles were released from the album, but, Going to Pasalakwa was released in a Green Day singles box set entitled Green Day, Ultimate Collectors. Reception All Music rated the album 3 out of 5, commenting that 39, Smooth isn't a truly great album in the first place. It's not bad, by any means, and quite arguably just about everything on it could be transposed with a slight oral tweak here and there to Kerplunk, Dookie, Insomniac or Nimrod without anyone batting an eye. 
Pitchfork said that, it's raw stuff, but even at this point Green Day's records were at least halfway decently recorded, unlike most of their peers' tin can and twine setups, and songs like At the Library and Don't Leave Me were downright hummable. Topic. Track listing All tracks written by Green Day Billy Joe Armstrong, Mike Durnt, and John Kiffmeyer except when noted. Topic. Personnel Green Day Billy Joe Armstrong, lead vocals, guitar Mike Durnt, bass, backing vocals John Kiffmeyer, drums, percussion, backing vocals production Andy Ernst, producer, engineer Green Day, producers John Golden, mastering Susie Grant, front cover photo Jesse Michaels, artwork Pat Hines, artwork, graphic design, layout design Chris Applegren, Aaron Comet Bus, Rich Gargano, David Hayes, artwork Murray Bowles, Arika Pellino, photography, 